commission said they had already issued an opinion on deferred compensation accepted by an existing state official and that that was okay, if that was agreed upon before the person took office. Um, what do you make of that? Well, one thing I make of it is that, that the individual that they were talking about, the Ethics Commission ruling was based upon an individual who was, I believe, uh, an employee of the Ohio Lottery Commission. The difference here is that the director of the Ohio Lottery is not an elected official. The director of any agency does not appoint boards and commissions, does not have direct input on the distribution of tax exempt statuses. And uh, I think that's a clear difference. I think that it was quite honestly a very, very lame <laughs> parallel to be drawn by the Ethics Commission. Um, especially when you consider that the individuals, individual that was making that comment is a <clears throat> well-known, strong supporter, financially and personally, Governor Case. And, 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 and in, in the middle of the storm, uh, he, he comes up with, pulls out something of the Ohio Lottery Commission, which it's not the same thing as an elected statewide official. Those are two different things, and I would think that there's a, a distinction that should be drawn between those two decisions. No, nothing more to add, uh, 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 except for the fact that our bill as written would not uh, include the director of the House Letter Commission, uh, only only statewide office. Exactly. You say you've worked with six governors. Uh, have you ever seen the one receive compensation? Or I have never, I have never, you know, I go back to Governor Rhodes, uh, and uh, I don't ever recall um, a governor being uh, drawn into a situation where decisions were being made and that there was some type of a linkage of personal payment, personal compensation. I don't know. Heck, if you go through it's political position. I mean, you know, it's politics. You're going to have political contributions, and we hear that all the time. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican. Those are always true. But I'm talking about personal compensation here, personal pay, and that's the distinct difference here. And uh, um, the bill that's what it addresses. Uh, a couple of things. One, would this affect family members? Two questions. No, it doesn't. Our bill is written does not. No, no, it does not. Uh, second, let's say. Uh, what, so what would happen? Let's say uh, you know Governor Pierce said back in 2005, as early as 2005, that he wanted this deferred compensation plan. Let's say he was elected governor. What would happen to that money then that was owed to him? Couldn't Well, the, the importance of this legislation is not to take away money that was earned by an elected official. Obviously, we want to still attract the best and brightest of candidates to any of our state office holding positions. So there's going to, by, by sheer nature of that, these are going to be some experienced members in the business community that have some business interest. So we, we, don't, we don't expect the person's legislation to not have them receive that money. Uh, as Representative Gerber said, the parallels to, to Vice President Cheney are very, very important. What Vice President Cheney did was he put that money into a blind trust. And that's what we would, we would think would be the appropriate mechanism. The money should go into an escrow fund, should go in, even if it's an interest-bearing trust fund. Um, and then that, and that elected official should be able to receive that money after they, after they leave their term of office. Well, if he's still getting the money, what does it matter if it's now or later? Because they're not involved in the pointing and the decision-making process at the time they're getting the money. <laughs> That's the difference. They're out of office. They're not in the position to appoint the members of, 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 of Jobs Ohio, for example. They're not in that position anymore. You, you're, you're a former governor. You no longer have that sphere of influence. And that, I mean, that's, and once again, I mean, I, I, and I'm sorry, to be, the issue has been over the last couple of weeks talking about jobs in Ohio and working in the industry. That's, this bill is to protect Governor Kasich and, and, and statewide office holders from even the um, possibility. As we, say the, as we say in the legal profession, the appearance of impropriety. Exactly. And, 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 and that was what this, this bill was designed to do. We want to, we want to restore faith in our citizens that, they, that their elected officials are working for them.